is sleeping, all is peace, and I'm still hanging round in a house that's filled with lights, walking through a Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to film a plan with me for the week of January 1st. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's 2020. I'm so excited. It's going to be a great year and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to be using the kit that I showed in my uh, print and cut and foil video. It's this kit here from uh, Print Petticoat Bandit. It's called Winter Celebration. I love this box here with her adorable sleeve. It's so stinking cute. So this is the kit that I'm going to be using. I did foil it. It does have a Happy New Year box right there. It also has a Happy Birthday box. So if you didn't want to use it for New Year's, I did foil it. I'll have a card linked right here if you guys didn't see this video. So, then it's foiled. It's hard to get those foil shots, but it is foiled. So I'll go ahead and show that to you. If you see me pausing every now and again, I apologize. I am in the middle of some text messages regarding plans for this evening. My daughter was supposed to babysit. Well, she is still babysitting. Um, however, the uh, young lady that she's supposed to babysit for, her uh, heater went out at her house and it is freezing here right now in Vegas. It gets really cold in the desert. People don't realize that, but it does. So anyway, so I just said, we'll bring her on over here and that's fine. And then um, it turned out that we got a last minute invitation to, um, to a little hangout to a little girl's hangout because a friend of ours, her husband is traveling. So she put together this little last minute hangout. Um, so we're going to go do that. So it actually worked out because I just said, we'll bring, it's one of the little dance, one of our dance friends. And so I said, we'll just bring your daughter over here and she can ride with us and go with us over and hang out and it worked out for everybody. So I think it'll be good. Okay, just trying to take a look here at my boxes because I have plenty of full box options. So I'm just trying to see what I'm working with. Definitely putting this adorable sleeve. I love her sleeve. From there, and then we'll do, oops, did this not cut? Do this one. And then I think I want to do this box. I really like this box. It's really cute. Okay, there we go. Perfect. I love that. I know I've got you super zoomed in, so you can't really see like everything that well. I'll zoom you back out in a bit, but let's put our bottom washi, which I did foil. This is one of those confetti foils. So it's not like my favorite type of foil, but should I do both? Hold on, hold the phone. This is pretty thin, even though I typically like that. I'm gonna kinda, I also have this adorable like bow washi, which I think, ooh, I just bent it. I think I'm going to pile, because they're light, I can do both. Normally I wouldn't because it takes up that whole bottom space and I like to leave white space, like leave some breathing room, but because it's really light colored, I think it's okay. There we go. We'll put this right on top. And again, normally I would leave some space in between, but they're light colored, so I think it's okay. And now let's do our headers. I think I left the glitter headers for this one. And I think I'm just going to alternate the colors and let's see. I think I'm just gonna do like a kind of, oh no, not that one. A rainbow. I think I'm just going to do it in the order that it's in. I just didn't want to start with the pink. Oh my gosh. Did these even cut? Oh my gosh, my blade is like trashed. Okay, 
I really don't even need to put headers because this pink totally matches, but I'm going to. Okay, that's what I'll do. So let me do this. I love this purple, it's so pretty. I can't do that. Hold on, because it's four colors. I can't jump ahead here. Hold on, I don't need as many. Oh, tearing up the paper. Because my head is like in 500 places. Okay. Two, three, four, let's do right here and then one two three four one two three four or I guess maybe I'm right I don't know oh my gosh what's my deal what's my deal um, it's here And then, okay, so while I'm doing this, I'm going to talk to you guys about a documentary that I just, my husband and I just watched on Netflix. Holy crap. We just watched Don't F With Cats. Um, craziest stuff I have ever seen. I was so not prepared. Um, it was insane. <laughs> uh... I knew that it was like a true crime story. I didn't know that it was going to go like as far as it did. Um, if you are not into true crime, do not watch it. But it is so stinking good. Um, there are some parts that I had to either look away or fast forward altogether because I didn't even want to hear the description of some things. Um, it is, it does involve animal cruelty. Um, so the person does serve, you know, there's justice is served. So don't, don't worry about that. But if you're not, if you can't, you know, stomach that or watch that, don't, don't watch it. Um, it's not for you, but I, I don't like animal cruelty. Obviously I don't like it, but I don't. I can't typically stomach it, but I just fast forwarded on those parts because I was told about the documentary and I was told to watch it and that it was because I love true crime. Sorry, I'm over here like trying to peel off um, glitter headers, don't mind me. Uh, I do love true crime, uh, but I... Have, I usually can't watch anything that has to do with animal cruelty because that's really hard to stomach, you know? Kids and animals are kind of where I draw my line, but it was so good. So we're watching it, and I'm like, okay, this chick looks so familiar. And then they're like, oh, part of this is filmed here in Vegas. And I was like, but man, I really like feel like I know her. So I'm watching, and then they, um, the woman starts talking about like what she does for a living and where she has worked. And I was like, wait a second. And so I called Danny into the room and he was like, yeah, we totally know her. That's so-and-so. And then we Googled it and that's exactly who she was. And we totally used to work with her. And <laughs> she helped bring down this internet killer. And it was, it's so good, you guys. Like... Okay, that was a lot of work, but it was worth it. Um, you have to watch it. Like, you just have to watch it. Because it's amazing. Um, like I said, parts of it are going to be tough to watch. But it is perfect. Super fun to watch. Super good. Okay, I was just talking to my daughter. And while I was doing that, I just went ahead and put on the tape covers. So let me zoom you out so you can see how we're doing so far. And now I'm going to zoom you back in. Whoops, zoom you back in. Okay. 
Uh, I am going to go ahead and use checklists this week because there are, this is like the week before we go back and there are actually things that I want to accomplish um, that I want to get done. So, uh, update, if you saw my video, my vlog video, where I talked about going to get an ultrasound of my throat last week, this week, it's only Friday when I'm filming this, so, um, I got a call that my ultrasound came back and I have a cyst on the right side of my thyroid. They said that as of right now, it doesn't appear to be suspicious, um, but they're going to check it again in six months to just make sure that it's not growing. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Okay, those are on there. So I feel good about it. I still feel a little bit stressed out because I still get that feeling that like I'm choking. Like I have it right now. I feel like the back of my throat is touching while I'm talking, which is a really uncomfortable feeling. Um, I don't feel like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it doesn't feel good. And so I plan to call my doctor back to find out why I still get that feeling because that's, I mean, I don't, I don't want to continue to feel that way. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's do a this week's sticker. And then I'm gonna use these beautiful ombre boxes that are so pretty that I should have foiled, but I didn't because I didn't think about using them over here. Oh, maybe I should do the weekly box. Hold on. Let's see if I can peel this up and move it down. I think so. Okay, good. And let's do, oh, this pretty weekly box, which is beautiful and foiled, and it has a little scalloped side. And then I kind of feel like I need to use this other one. Let's do, uh, I think I'm going to do this one that says habits even though I'm not going to use a habit tracker, it's just going to be like where I can keep track of things that need to happen. And I'm just going to use this purple one because it's spoiled and the other one looks bad because it's not. And I think that that is that. Let me go ahead. Do we have, we do. Okay. Let's do some deco down here. So stinking cute. Um, it's too big. Too big. Let's use the drink. Let's use the crystals because I love the crystals. And the drink. I'm going to use these crystals over here. No. i use these little cards, I think. They're like tarot cards, I think they're supposed to be. Can you even see that? Okay. And, uh-oh, sounds like the boys are getting in trouble. Okay, there we go, there's that. Before we move forward, let me go ahead and answer this okay, text. I haven't zoomed you in. Now, I don't have a ton of things planned for this week yet, at all, actually. <laughs> um, I really don't have anything planned. I just have things that I need to get done. So, I know that on Monday, I want to get some um, lesson planning done. I'm going to put this down here. Mm, let's put it up here. No, let's put it down here. It's a little cute little laptop. But I need to get lesson plans done. Uh, so that I don't have to worry about those things. If you celebrate Hanukkah that day, it's when it ends. So 
Happy last day of Hanukkah to you on that day there. Tuesday, we're going to go to the movies because it is $5 movies on Tuesdays. Yes, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna do that. So let's, um, let me find a box for that. Did I, why not have half boxes? always do this when I print these kits. I always forget to print half boxes. <laughs> like, I literally do it all the time. Um, it's fine. But I do it all the time. Okay, let's do... Um, let's put this up here. And... I do have little popcorns over here. I got a little purple one. Go. Put this right here. We're gonna go see Jumanji. Have you guys seen it? It looks so good. Um, and then this evening is New Year's Eve. I do have a Happy New Year sticker. Do I put it on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day? What do I do? What do I do? Somebody tell me. Um, I think I need to put it right in between. What do y'all think about that idea? I've got this sticker here, this leftover from the bottom washi. What if I use that and then I put the Happy New Year across both? I feel like that works. You can't really see it, but it's there. That's from Rose Colored Days. Um, and then I don't have anything else until Friday. Mm. Wednesday or Thursday, I think we're going to go to the Grand Canyon. And then Friday, I have book club. We're starting a new book club. Um, so let me... I do have a sticker from that, from Primrose, a little Primrose sticker. So sticking cute, she's got her little book. Can you see her? Is it figuring itself out? There we go. So cute with her book. I love it. And I do have some flags that we can use. Put it here. And the primrose. Okay. That's at book club. Uh, that's at 5.30. Okay. Um, and let's see. On Saturday, Michaela has a Girl Scout event this day. So... They're learning all about money. So I'm gonna actually use this sticker here. It's this cute primrose with all this money. It's like they're learning a finance badge. So I'm gonna, I'm texting too, I'm so sorry. Did you guys even see the book club? There it is, okay. This is for financial class. And it's from 10 to 3, so it's all day. And then Sunday is just going to be a lot of prep and, like, get everybody, you know, back to work. And I'm going to, oh, maybe my in-laws are back. I'm going to use one of these stickers. Sorry, my dogs are really loud. Right there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> maybe I need to pause until they stop. Hold on. Okay, they're done for right now, so we'll see. And I'm gonna use this film sticker right there. And then, like I said, Sunday is just gonna be a whole lot of like getting our life together. I'm gonna use this sticker here. It's of a planner and it's got hot chocolate and it's super Christmassy, but it's kind of wintry, I think. Is it gonna focus? Please freaking focus. There we go. 
I love it. The little snowman reminds me of Olaf, but it does have a Christmas tree, but I don't care. But it's going to be me planning and getting our week ready. And let's use one of these little stickers right here. I'm going to put it up here. This is going to be for... Uh, that one's from Ruby, the Ruby Bee. Right there, the Ruby Bee. So pretty. And we're going to be... Um, getting ourselves ready to go back to work. My in-laws don't leave until the 7th, but we do have to get ourselves ready for school. So we'll need to do clothes, backpacks, and meal plan. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this up. I know there's hardly anything in it, but it is what it is for right now. <laughs> I'll have to go back in and fill things in after they happen. So there it is. There's my plan with me for this week. I hope you guys enjoy it. I think it's beautiful. I love the way it turned out. If you do too, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.